Try not to eat too many bugs in this video. All right, what's going on guys? Johnny Nerd out here. We got another custom e-bike build for you. This is the Cannondale Synapse. Yeah, so we're gonna go over this bike, what we did to it, uh, what makes it an awesome, crazy awesome gravel e-bike, and why it's something that you probably just can't buy. You couldn't buy this pre-made. You have to buy, you have to do this custom, and why you should. All right, so let's just start at the front, and I'll go to the back on what we did to it, and if you have a bike like this, you know, maybe you might wanna do something similar or exactly the same. Uh, so really quick, this is a road bike. It's considered, I would say, a gravel bike almost. Um, if you had flat bars on it, it might be a little bit more gravel bike, but it's got the 700 by 30 C tires. So they're kind of wide. They're like in that mid range. They're not made for pure speed, but they can handle some slight, maybe some very, very, very light off-road trails. Hard pack, very smooth. But yeah, they're not super skinny where they're built for speed like ice skates. Um, this has the drop bars on them. So to mount a throttle on it, we had to use a handle bob. And if you guys want like, what are you talking about? Check the description below. I'm gonna put links to everything on there. We put a handle bob on here so it allows you to put a throttle on here. So when you're in the drop position, you can still hit, hit them easily. And it's hydraulic brakes. So in order to make that work, we used the trip wire by Grin. So it hooks into here. Actually, the customer already hooked it into here. We just had to wire it up to the to the motor, but the trip wire allows you to do that. You might have to do some custom wiring for it, but it allows you to use it as a functional brake cutoff. Generally, there's no really good solution with drop bars for that. This is by far the best solution for that. So if you have a drop bar hydraulic bike, look into the, the trip wire by Grin. Coming forward here, we got the T1 display. This is a nice display. It's nice and big, and it does have a USB uh, charge port right here. I think it's USB-C. This one's nice because it'll show you kind of the same information that the uh, Egg Rider does, where it'll show you the watt hour per mile average that you're using, which is really nice to kind of, if you're really big into like performance and like, oh, how much am I burning? And just knowing that, that data for performance, if you're doing long rides, that's important. It's really good to know and have that there. Up here, we have the toggle switch. Down here, we've got the 52 volt, 25 amp hour battery. So when you got this paired with this style of bike, it equals efficiency, long range. We're talking like 80, 90 miles. If you're using it, you know, 15, 16 miles per hour on the lowest pedal assist level. 90 miles, especially because we got the 750 watt Bafang BVSO2 motor. It's a very efficient motor. We went with the 44 tooth chain ring. It's kind of like an all purpose chain ring. Probably good to pedal up to about 30 miles per hour. And then you're gonna start to pedal out because you got the 11 to 34 tooth cassette back here. So it's good, still gonna have good hill climbing. Even if you found this thing on a super steep hill, bumping down to your first gear, it's gonna climb it absolutely no problem. I bet you a throttle only would probably go up 17 miles per hour with that gear ratio. They just wanted a very basic build. You know, we didn't add any other bells and whistles to it uh, other than the gear shift sensor back here. But besides that, this is just a very basic basic build, which keeps it lightweight as well. Uh, and I'll have, to, I'll have to get my scale here to figure out what this is. But in the meantime, let's go do a top speed test and see what we get out of it. All right, as you can see, 35 miles an hour that's pretty good, uh, and definitely you could go faster. This is on a half charge battery, so that's at like 52 volts. If you fully charge this up to 58 volts, throttle only, probably 37. If you had wind at your back, you might be scraping 40. Uh, and if you're pedaling like your, your life depends on it, you could go over 40. But, you know, be responsible. With the battery, it's 42 pounds. That's with this battery. So you take this 13 pound battery off and it's now 29 pounds. That's pretty impressive. So if you need to put this on a bike rack or anything like that, super easy. All right, have a good one guys, take it easy.